in the previous video we have created a dashboard and in this video we're gonna discuss more about this interactive dashboard but first I would like to quickly give a makeover to this dashboard because it's not looking good so I'm gonna make this one Total sales goes here. This one goes here. This one here. And I would like to have a map also. So here's my fill map. And then I have the states and its sales. Okay, guys, now moving forward. This is the completely interactive dashboard, and this is called the beauty of Power BI desktop. For example, here I have a region wise fields data, like here, and definitely in these regions, these managers have done the sales, and the sales is graphically visible over here, like the two hundred twenty seven thousand dollars sales, and the total quantity is here. State wise data is also here. And the details of the salesperson is visible over here. And I, uh, if uh, I do a mouse over to any of the sales agent, will have the salesperson name and amount he's achieved till now are visible. Like Matthews has done sales of three thousand nine hundred dollars, and Jacob around two zero five zero dollars. Suppose we have to see the sales of only the West region. I will go over here. And this is the south region, east, north, and the west. So we have to see the sales of only the west region. If I and if we talk about the Excel, we have to create dynamic dashboards like from a drop down, just like any region, and view sales, or you create the options buttons or check boxes. So what about here? If you need to create a dynamic dashboards in Power BI, so the best beauty of Power BI is that within no time. The dashboard has been established. The interactive dashboard has been created. For example, I've clicked in the, on the West region. You can see that we have visible sales only for the West region. Like if I click back, our initial and the total sales was twenty-seven thousand dollars. And I, when I click on the West region, you can see over here it is telling about seven point seven, and then the quantity and what else we have map over here actual sales actual quantity and map is also active the parts of the uh, the states and we can do it with the focus mode so here you go now this map is telling us the states and under these managers, which, is which the sales person are working, this is the one. And these the areas that have been highlighted, Elijah, Matthews, and these these people here than us working. Now the areas that are that are lighter in color, or the areas that have been faded, so the data does not belong to the best region, like like this one. These managers. If I make it visible, so these managers, Leo, Ferry, Grace, they do not belong to the West region. And same goes over here. The sale, these salesperson are not belong to uh, to the West region. So the the area that is highlighted and colorful uh, represent the West region, and those areas and those stats that are faded out. It does not belong to the west region now 
And if I want to catch dashboard in, dashboard in the initial states, I will click again the best region and you can see all the data is now available. And same goes to the other regions as well. Now we come back to our regions and for example, I want to see the sales of East region. And in the East region, we have some managers like will make it a bit visible grace poppy emily these are the managers and their total sales is four thousand five hundred and twenty three dollars and from here i would like to see the sales of uh, grace if i click over here so you can see uh, the quantity is visible of grace and amount is visible and you can see in the in this map if I make it on the photo screen you can see uh, in which areas uh, the uh, the grace has done the sales like Georgia or Kansas so here you go and uh, under these and uh, under the grace we have uh, if I make it a bit visible for you people we have Lucas uh, this is the you know the salesperson under the grace and if I like to see my initial dashboard then I will click the same so it's now back to its original condition it means whenever I click the manager suppose grace so suppose in grace we have no one this one in grace it's telling me the state quantity sales and the salesperson and the areas that he he just acquired sales in the areas so totally interactive and connected with each other every chart is connected with other charts and this is the beauty of this dashboard so you can see here in the right side that those charts have that we have created a separate separate field as well like over here this is the field area and formatting formatting over here so in this video we learned about the uh, the manipulation of the data how easily we can create dashboards and how much we can make this information useful with the help of Microsoft Power BI.